This time, Sisuvan makes its inaugural trip as a freshly minted high top. I'll also be doing a fuel economy test as well as a speed test as we push our limits and shoot for 100 plus miles per hour. So not only is this the first time driving this van um, with this topper build, it's the first time I'm taking this thing on the interstate too. So we're going to take it slow today. We're going to work our way up incrementally, make sure everything is safe, make sure everything is sound um, before we get on the interstate. And then if things are good, we'll try to get it up to 100 miles an hour. X out this speedometer, which I just realized goes up to 100 miles an hour. Today's a big day. It's maiden voyage. Um, let's see if it starts up good. Let the glow plugs go. Let's try that again. Well, that's not good. Try to start it up like once every two to four weeks. It's only had issues when it's cold. There we go. Look at all that smoke. We'll let her warm up a little bit, um, work out some of the bugs. Then we'll go top off the tank. We're gonna do a fuel economy test today too, so I plan on filling it up. I'm doing a round trip. We're gonna go look at a house out in um, middle of nowhere, Bisbee, that I'm considering buying. Do some mountain biking, maybe do a 100 mile power test, and then uh, take it back home. We're gonna clock the mileage the whole way, see what kind of fuel economy we get. If anyone wants to volunteer to bat hang while I do this 100 mile per hour test, please let me know. I'm looking for volunteers. I could really use the extra weight to help secure the topper just in case it decides to separate from the vehicle. Moxie's just not heavy enough. Goo, 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 goo. So far, just with city driving, it's driving pretty smooth. There's about a 5 to 10 mile per hour side wind. I don't notice any difference at all. It seems just like the day I got it. But I haven't taken it up over 35 miles per hour yet, so... Sixty, no. Fifty-five, sixty. We're still driving pretty smooth. A little bit of a wobble in the steering wheel. I'm trying to be conscious, make sure I don't get up too fast while I still have people behind me. I'm not going to push sixty unless I got a nice clear runway behind me. We're going out of town right now, though, so we'll keep it under sixty till we get out. Thirty, forty minutes outside of town. Then we'll see if we can push it up to 70, 80, eventually, hopefully 100. All right, we're a good 30 minutes outside of town. Traffic's really died down. As you can see behind me, there's really nobody behind me on the interstate. Right now, I'm gonna try to push it up to 80. So far, I've had no issues at all. There's 75. A bit of cavitating in the back. Well, there's 80 miles an hour. I got some traffic coming up now, so I'm gonna wait till that clears, push for 85, then maybe 90, and then maybe if I get a downhill section with a rear wind, I can get up to 100.
Let's see what this topper can do. All right, here we go. Got a nice clear spot behind us. Nobody to worry about there. Make sure there's no coppers over this pass. See what we got. We got 60 miles an hour. We just go nice and slow. We got a couple cars that behind me that I gotta outrun. Alright, we got 70. I'm gonna get some rattles in the back, but oh well. Let's push it down this hill. Here we go, we got 80. topper can go 103 miles per hour on the interstate. I put a thousand pound side load on the thing. I did a torsion test, impact test, everything I could think of to put this thing through the ringer. And it's withheld on every test and passed with flying colors. So I think that sums it up. I feel good and safe in this topper now. I'm comfortable to continue with the build. I'm comfortable to, to paint the outside and invest the extra resources and money to build the inside, to do lights and electrical. I don't want to do all that until I had proven that it can that it can take the test. Oh shit, there's a cop right up here. I don't know how fast I'm going. But I'm going to slow down. Out of respect. Officers. <laughs> oh God, I did that at the right time. If I would have done that two minutes later, I would have been blasting past these cops going 103 miles an hour. Oh God. But that's it. I trust this thing with my life now. Me and Moxie both went 103 miles an hour at the DIY topper. All right, I know you probably think I'm a bit nuts for doing this test, and honestly, you have to be a little bit to build a van like this, but the reason I was so confident in this design is threefold. First, the geometry of the nose actually forces the air to push the topper into the vehicle. Second, there are over a hundred fasteners, super strong adhesive, and fiberglass securing it to the van. And finally, and most importantly, I sandwiched the front lip of the topper to the frame of the vehicle using grade 8 bolts, steel plates, and permanent Loctite. 
the wood and fiberglass would literally have to disintegrate before this topper ever separated from the vehicle.